So today we're going to be doing a more hip-centered flow. So moving and breathing together, getting deeper into our hips, into our bodies. Uh, if you've ever been to my classes before, I love moving one breath one movement. So that's what we're going to try and do today. Uh, we're going to start right in tabletop. So coming on to all fours. So really grounding into the tips of the fingers, into the heels of the hands, almost like you're trying to get the palms away from the mat. Really firming up the core, bring the belly button back to the spine, trying to keep your spine as neutral as possible. From here, extend your right leg back again, try and keep the belly button reaching and the spine nice and long, and then bend your right knee. So bring the heel up towards the ceiling, keeping the foot flexed. We'll do a little bit of movement here to start. So all you're going to do as you inhale, lift the right heel a leg, in the leg a little bit higher. As you exhale, bring your knee towards your nose, around your spine. Inhale, right leg, high little tiger crawl. So lift the heel, lower the belly, bring the chest forward. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, tiger crawl. Knee to nose. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, right leg high, tiger curl. And then straighten the leg. So neutralize the pelvis, bring the spine back to normal. And then bring that right leg out to the side. So you want the right leg to be in line with the hip. And we're just going to do a few circles here. So you can start in whatever direction you want. So I'm going to come forward, bend into the right knee, and then bring the hip back towards the left heel. And then moving in whatever range of motion feels comfortable for you. So your circles might be a little bit bigger, maybe a little smaller than mine. And then we'll switch directions after you've done a few in one. Getting out any little cracks and creaks of the hips. My hips and knees are very cracky. And then when you're ready, coming back to tabletop. Ground again into the tips of the fingers and then we're gonna use a strength of the leg and the core. Press into the mat. So you can lift that leg away from the mat. Bring it back. And we're just going to do that a few times. So bring the leg forward. Tap the toes onto the mat or the ground or the floor. And then reach back. Do that a few more times. Trying to keep the spine, again, as neutral as you can. Keeping the core active. Working the glutes a little bit more as well. Bring it back. And then back to tabletop. So we'll do the other side. So left leg extends back. Again, nice neutral spine. Core is active. Bend the knee. Bring the heel towards the ceiling. And then on your next inhale, lift that left heel a little higher with the leg. Inhale. Knee to nose, exhale. Inhale to lift, tiger crawl. This time lower the belly, chest full. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lift. This time straighten the leg. Bring the left leg out to the side. So again, the foot comes in line with the hip. And then same circle, start in whatever direction you want. So the hands might come away from the mat. Just kind of free movement with the body. And then switch directions. Come back to center. Really engage back into the core. Into that left hip flexor. And then see if you can lift that left leg away from it. Bring it back. Do that a few more times. Keep the spine nice and long. Tap the toe. Bring it back. So you can move with your breath or just keep a consistent breath with your movement. One more. Back. And then tabletop. When you're ready, just a few rounds of cat and cow with your own breath. Just to get a little bit of movement into the shoulders into the hips a little bit more. And then downward facing dog, lift the hips. Take a few breaths here for your movement, move the hips, move the feet. I like to take a bit of time in my first down dog just to really loosen my hamstrings a little bit more. And then settling back in. On your next inhale, lift that right leg high. As you exhale, bend the right knee to open your hip. So the knee comes towards the ceiling and the right heel comes down towards the left hip. Trying to keep your shoulders as square as you can. Breathe deep in through that right side of the body. On your next inhale, straighten the right leg. As you exhale, step the foot in between the hips. 
Find a low lunge, left knee to the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, half splits, hands to the mat, straighten the right leg. Inhale, low lunge, arms up. Exhale, half splits. One more inhale. Exhale, half splits. Stay here. Inhale, long with your spine. Exhale, fold. Then again, one more time. Inhale, halfway. Bring the left hand down. Inhale, right arm lifts up. So keep flexing the right foot, bringing that length through the leg, reaching up with the right fingertips. Take a big breath in. Exhale, right hand to the left. Half splits. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Bend the left knee, open the hip. So again, send that left knee to the ceiling, left heel towards the right hip. Just keep that length moving through the left side of the body. On your next inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, step with your legs. Low lunge, right knee down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, half splits, hands to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, half split. Stay here. Inhale, half way. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lift. Keep that long spine, right hand down. Exhale, lift the left arm. So again, reach up through those left fingertips, pull the left toes back. Big breath in. Exhale, left hand down, half splits. Inhale, low lunge, reach up. Downward facing dog. Exhale, step back. Take a breath. Again, keep moving one breath, one movement. Inhale, right leg high. Bend the right knee, open the hip. Inhale to straighten. Step between the hands, exhale. Low lunge, knee to mat, inhale. Half splits, exhale. This time, see if you can keep your hands away from the mat. Inhale, low lunge. Half splits, exhale. One more. Half splits, exhale. Inhale, low lunge. Left hand to the mat, right arm keeps lifting. So lift the left knee away from the mat. Take a big breath in. Exhale, reverse Gandasana. So turn the feet over to the right. Lower the left hip down, then reach the right arm back. Keep it with your breath. Inhale, reach the right arm up overhead, lift the left hip. Exhale, lower reverse Gandasana. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lift, bring the right hand to the mat, bring the toes forward. Exhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, so bring both feet wide. Keep your feet, your toes facing forward, and then bend your knee. Just bring your knees and hips in line, and then reach your arms forward. So nice high squash. Weight comes back into the heels, so you can even lift the toes away from the mat, just so you know the weight is there. Strong with the leg, strong core. Left fingertips come down towards the mat. Come on to tented fingertips if you need to, or take a, belt, a block or a bolt. And then as you inhale, reach your right arm up overhead. Exhale, cactus that right arm, so bend the elbow. Inhale, straight. Exhale, right fingertips down. Other side, inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, cactus the arm, bend the elbow. Inhale, straight. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, straighten the legs, fold forward, grab your elbows. Take a breath, a few little movements side to side. Hands come down to the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right leg back. So stay with the back knee lifted. As you inhale, bend the right knee, low with the hips, bring your chest forward, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left leg, lift the hips, fold down. Inhale, bend the knee, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend the knee, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left, stay here. If you can, bring the hands down to the mat. Take a little bend into the left knee if you need to. And then step all the way up and back. Three-legged down dog, left leg lifts. 
Bend the left knee, open the hip. Inhale, straight and lift. Exhale, step between the hips. Low lunge, knee down, inhale. Half split, exhale, see if you can keep your hands away from the mat. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half split. One more, inhale. Exhale, straight and lift. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, right hand down, left arm lifts. Lift that right knee away from the mat. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, come to reverse Gandasa. So this time, toes turn to the left. Lower the right hip down, bring the left arm back. A little bit of movement. Inhale, left arm forward, lift the right hip. Exhale, lower the reverse Gandasa. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift, bring the left hand down, turn the toes forward. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right. So again, wide stance, toes are forward. Bend the knees, knees and hips come in line as much as you can. Arms reach forward. Strong legs. Again, way back into the heels. Take a big breath in. This time, hands come to the heart. Turn your heels in slightly so your toes are out, and then bring the hips all the way down. Yogi squat. So find a bit of engagement here. Move the feet around if you need to. Find a bit of movement, especially if it's your first time here in a while, maybe ever. So the hands come back towards the chest. Chest comes forward, and then engage a little bit into your legs. Press into your feet. Lift your tailbone just slightly. Breathing here. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, lift the hips, straighten the legs, grab your elbows again. One more time. Small movement side to side. Hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, left leg steps back. Keep the back knee lifted. Come on to the tips of the fingers if you need to. Move with your breath. Inhale, bend the right knee. Hips down, chest forward, look forward. Exhale, straighten the leg, lift the hips. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the lift. One more, inhale. Exhale, straighten the lift. Inhale, look forward. Straighten the lift. If you can, bring the palms out to the mat. Keep a bend into the knee if you need to. This time, step back. High plank. So lift the heels nice and high, strong legs, strong core, grab back and step to the fingers. Big breath in. As you exhale, bring the knees. Bring the chest and the chin down to the mat. Take a breath here. Full breath in. Exhale. On your next inhale, baby cobra. Shift the hips down, bring the chest forward and up. Exhale, lower. Bring the hands a little wider this time. Come on to the tips of the fingers. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, look over the right shoulder. Exhale. Inhale, lift, look over the left. Exhale. Add on a little bit this time, inhale, lift. Look over the right shoulder, bend the right knee. Exhale. Inhale to the left, bend the left knee. Exhale. Hands under the shoulders, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Right leg lifts, inhale. Bend the right knee, open the hip. Inhale, straighten and lift. Bring the right knee behind the right wrist. Come to half pigeon. So lengthening that left leg behind you, flex the right foot. Don't try to force the right foot forward so that your knee's at a 90 degree angle. If it needs to be further back, that's fine. So bring the hands back by the hips and then try to square the hips as much as possible. Right hand comes back, left forward. Take a breath here. Trying to bring the hips down, chest forward. Bring a block under the right hip if you need to. If you don't have a block, you can use books or a pillow. Maybe even folded up towels if that works. Take a big breath in. 
and then fold in forward with your exhale. You can walk the hand, you can stay on the forearms, maybe come all the way down, whatever is comfortable for you here. And take two or three breaths, trying to keep the hips as square as you can throughout. Start to walk the hands back up. So bringing the weight mostly onto that right hip, you can use your hands. If you want a little bit of a challenge, see if you can keep your hands away. You can bring them to the heart. It's a good way to kind of keep your hands. You're gonna bring the weight over, lift that left leg. Bring the left leg forward and then bring the right leg up to meet it. We'll come to Navasana boat pose. Flex the toes, flex the feet. You can keep hold of the backs of the legs or reach the arms, the fingertips forward. So the chest draws forward to the legs, legs come back towards the chest. Take a big breath in. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. This time, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg, and then bring the legs down. So the right foot to the inside of the left leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reach over towards that left foot. So you might have your hands on your mat. Maybe they come onto the left leg, maybe they can grab the foot. So instead of trying to bring your head down towards your left leg, try to bring your chest down. So keeping your spine nice and long. So drawing the chest forward. If you can grab the foot, maybe the elbows come down to the mat, the arms hug the shin, shoulders are away from the ears. But you can stay right here as long as your chest is coming down towards your knee. Bring the hands back. And then coming back the same way we came. So weight comes again mostly onto that right hip, lift the left. Maybe stay here, maybe lifting the left leg right away. Take a little bend into the knee. Use your hands if you need to. Shift your way back to half pigeon. Hands come down. Inhale here. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Left leg lifts. Inhale. Bend the left knee, open the hip. Inhale to straighten. Half pigeon on the other side, left knee behind left wrist. So setting up on the other side, right leg comes behind. Again, keeping that left foot flexed. Doesn't have to come forward. You don't want to move that knee forward and end up hurting yourself more. Bring the hands back. And then make sure your hips are square. So your left hip comes back, right hip comes forward. So the chest draws forward, gaze up. Breathing all the way into the belly, and then start to walk yourself forward. Again, if you need a little bit of support under your left hip on this side, sides from one to the other can be a little bit different. So we kind of work to find the balance between the two sides. And take a few more breaths here. Keeping the hips softening down towards the mat and then walking your way back up. So bringing that weight into the left leg, or into the left hip. Hands can stay on the mat, maybe they come towards the heart. Bring that right leg forward. Lift the left to meet it. Ooh, maybe adjust the hips a little bit when you're there in a basana bow pose. So arms can reach forward again, they can always keep hold of the backs of thighs. Maybe this time, you try to straighten the legs. Exhale. To the left, inhale, to the right, inhale, to the left, inhale, right, exhale, inhale, exhale, left, inhale, right, exhale, back to center, inhale, and then come to the other side, so bend that left knee straight in the right, so that left foot comes to the right inner thigh, big breath in, exhale. Find that fold. Again, hands might be down, they might be in the leg, maybe towards the foot, bringing the chest down towards that right knee. Keeping the spine long, all the way from the tailbone, reaching out through the crown of the head. Take a few breaths here. And then come back up. 
Again, we're going to come back the same way we came. If you need to use your hands, feel free. Bring the weight back into the left leg. Lift the right. Take a little bend into it if you need to. Come back to pigeon, stay here, big breath in. And then downward facing dog. Bend the knees, bring them wide on the mat. And then ending with child's pose. Bring the hips back towards the heels. Keep your arms reaching forward. Bring the forehead down to the mat. So working into the hips. Take a few breaths here. Look forward towards your hands. Coming into tabletop, bring the knees back into the hips. Move the feet to one side. Bring the legs out in front of you, and then bring the soles of your feet together. Knees bend and come out to the side. Bring the arms forward. And then as slowly as you can, come all the way down. So we're gonna end in recline butterfly. So you can take as much time here as you'd like. Bringing the head down. I like to bring my hands onto my stomach here. Connecting back into your body. Connecting back into your breath. Noticing how your breath may be different from beginning to end. Noticing space in the body, especially in the hips, working into the back of the hamstrings. Noticing how that changes where your breath might move. Notice how free space frees up energy in the body. Taking as much time here as you'd like, as you need. Maybe adding any props, maybe a blanket or a pillow. And just close your eyes and just breathe here.